are in the Bankhead National Forest, and today we are chasing waterfalls. We've got two awesome hikes picked out. Both are gonna have some awesome waterfalls. Both are less than five miles a piece, and I'm hoping that we can get them both done before it gets too hot today. We're at our first trailhead right now, and Ron is gonna have to tell you about this one because I can't even pronounce the name of where we are, but it's gonna be amazing. And the trail that we are about to start walking on, neither one of us know for sure how to pronounce it. Uh, we think it's so Soga Hogdi. We Soga Googled, Hogdi. We did Google it on the way. Well, we've heard two people pronounce it two different ways. So, so you, you'll see the spelling of it in the title, and I'll put it in the video so you can figure out how to pronounce it yourself. It may be Soga Hogdi or Soga Hogdi or something like that. Anyway, this trail is actually uh, about four and a half miles, give or take a little bit. And the second one we're going to do is like a half mile. So it's fairly short. So total distance between the two trails will be under five miles, hopefully, or a little over five. We will hit the highlights today and try Which to keep it. It's going to be the waterfalls because we are chasing waterfalls. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks like that would be a stream or a creek coming down to the main creek if it had any water in it. That would be fairly pretty. It'd be flowing through here and going down to the creek right down there. Here's a quick view of the creek we're going to be following. The trail follows up to the waterfall. Again, hopefully there's enough water today to have a waterfall. We've already seen one little creek uh, or branch flows into this that didn't have any water in it, so we'll see. But it did rain a lot yesterday, so we're hoping for the best. I know you can't see this, but I can stand here and see four or five good-sized fish right down there in the bottom. That's an interesting rock formation. There's a lot of this kind of geography around here. On the side of the hill, a lot of big rocks. Or boulders might be a better way of putting it. Leading down to the creek. Hopefully you can see the water down there. There's a few little rapids like that along the creek. Not uh, anything super spectacular, but it is interesting. So far the view along the creek has been very pretty. Uh, it's too much to show quiet, uh, slow moving water for the most part, but very clear and you can see lots of fish. So here's another place, if it was wet today, really wet, like the wet season, I would assume there'd be tons of water flowing through here, coming down, crossing over the trail, but none today. Just wanted to show you a little bit of the trail we're walking on. You can see it's well worn. And again, it just follows along the side of the creek. So it's not too hard of a hike. It's not supposed to have much elevation change. So far, so good. Yeah, this is another hollow we're walking by that's got what would be a stream bed down to the bottom. Just doesn't look to be any water flowing today. Surprise as much as it rained yesterday. It is August. It is, it is August. Like to see you there. So here's a little steep section of the trail. It's not real long, but it's fairly steep and it's a little, you know, damp today. So we'll see how easy it is to climb. Are we going up there? I am. I'm gonna watch you first. I'm ready. Actually, I guess I'll go first. Almost fell, but not quite. Caught myself. Again, if you take your time on this hike, there's a lot of beautiful scenery. You see all that rock formation above us. And again, the whole hike, the creek is below us. So, you got two totally different views. I know it's summertime, so it's probably not the prettiest time of year to be here. But this hike, so far, has probably been one of the better hikes we've been on during the summer. 
trail is well worn, it's wide. It's fairly flat most of the way. There's a couple of places that are challenging. It's just a very beautiful spot. May have to try to make it back sometime when it's a little cooler. You know, you may think you're looking at the same view that I'm showing right now. I wish that we could really video this whole hike on both sides of the trail to show you exactly what we see the whole way, but that would make it way too long. Uh, so I just want to point out again, that if you come make this hike, I think it'd be well worth your time. This is such a good hike. God even put a natural bench there for people to sit on and observe the view. Just a quick view of another place the stream would be coming down and the rocks up above. Now this does appear to be a little creek that has some water flowing that flows into the main creek just down there. We are almost to the waterfall. I just looked at the map and it is actually, I think on this small creek right here. Should be just up this way a little bit. And this was the goal of the hike, to get here to the waterfall. It is a very beautiful sight. You can see again, the geology here. All the rocks, cliffs, overhanging. And I think we got it at the perfect time of the day where the sun is shining straight on the fall. Again, this was the goal of the hike, to reach the falls. Hope you enjoy it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and like us on Facebook.